In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Modbus comms using Movicon Connect. So first, I'm going to come over to IO Data Server. I'm going to come over to my Drivers tab. I'm going to right-click and add a new driver. And then I can look and see what's compatible for each. So I'm looking for Modbus, and there with the one I want, which is Modbus TCP IP. Hit next. And again, I need to specify the address. Now I'm going to be demoing this with a local simulation server. So I'm going to put my local IP address in, which is 127.0.0.1. But this could be any Modbus device that you can connect to. Hit next step, next again, and finish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of tags in. I'm going to come over to my address space, tag list. I'm going to add a new tag. I'm going to call this one M0 because I'm going to pick up memory location 0. I'm going to make it an integer. And then under execution, I want to find my IO physical address. Go to my settings. I know it's multiple registers, which is what I want. I can see the start address is zero and the station, which is set to station zero. It's okay. And then accept the changes. And we can do it again. So I'm going to call it M1. I'm going to make it an integer, I have physical address, settings. This time I want the start address to be one in the multiple registers with the station of station zero. I'm now going to go ahead and save this and just to test make sure it works I'm going to hit start server. And it's going to go ahead and start the I.O. server for us in Connext. And then we'll be able to see the values inside of the tags. So I'm going to come down to my tags folder here. I can see both tags with the values. Now if I open up my simulator, I can see if I change anything it changes here. And that is how you set up comms for Modbus device in Movicon Connects. Thanks for watching.